Welcome to the channel, Someone VR Racing. Today we're going to jump in the Ford Mustang, the 1966 RTR Trans Am. It's got a 4 speed H pattern with a V8 engine, 400 horsepower, 100 and, oh sorry, 1200 kilos, or nearly 1300 kilos. We're going to be doing the same class, so the vintage touring GTA class. So we're going to be contending with all these other little old school sort of vehicles. A lot of them I've driven before, so I don't think I've driven that Ferrari yet, so that's going to be on the cards. We're going to be doing the oh, Mazda Raceway Laguna Seco. Uh, do five laps in summertime. Yeah, it started at uh, 2 in the afternoon, just light clouds for the day. The opponents, going to be 25 opponents, AI skill level 95 and their aggressions at 90. Same class like I said before. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be in 25th position. So yeah, let's uh, jump in and see what happens. Alright, here we are at the start of the grid. Back of the pack, popping it into first, looking around the car, getting the revs built up. Try not to get too much wheel spin, that was not bad at all. Just got to try and find somewhere to go now. Really back it off the accelerator. Oh, crashing, they're all crashed in front of me, that was cool. Managed to avoid that incident. Oh, someone's tagged in the back of me. And there's now a foam sign's gone missing. They're being quite aggressive, these AI drivers. Right up the thumbs of them all. Oh. Side by side, we're going to make it three wide. Get all the way back into second for that. Normally, I would have stayed in third gear. Go past that Porsche. To the corkscrew for the first time. Just keep it in second. Can't see the corner. Get an outside run on him, that's clean. Back into first. That was very cleanly done too. Quite happy with the uh, first lap so far, that's uh, yeah, pretty intense racing. You're in a good position to take him. Don't take too many risks, but try squeezing past when you can. Come on mate, we'll let you go past for that. Don't want a bad sportsmanship flag. Uh, we'll let him have it and I'll take him. Try and keep it in tight. There it is. Quite nicely done. Sorry about that mate. He shot up the inside of me. Luckily, I just looked at the mirror. Otherwise, we wouldn't have seen that. The old American Stars and Stripes. Back at the sixth position at the moment. Back down into the corkscrew. Yes, you can't see the road. Slightly dab the brakes, ease the throttle back out there, leave it in that gear. Right on his tail.
Oops, running a bit wide. telling me. Makes me feel good. Let's have a look around the car a little bit. Oops, grab the dirt like they did. I followed him. Now up on the outside. Well, that was well done. Second sector. That's the best time so far. that into first gear then just to slow the car down a lot faster through that corkscrew. We've well, got two cars to catch now. That bit of hose is shaking over there too. <laughs> Looks pretty good, just the attention to detail. Two more E type Jaguars ahead. Look in the mirror for a minute. Look at the lot behind me. Oh, nowhere near us. Eyes forward then I guess. They're having a little bit of a battle in front too. Like this white one in front, the E type bears. Just getting frustrated with his mate. <laughs> Position one again. So yeah, right up the top. A whole uh, variety of different cars. Yeah, that was a pretty good race. That uh, Laguna Seeker, I do like it. I'm getting used to it now anyway, so 
Yeah, a Ford Mustang that we drove. It's another car that, yeah, I quite enjoy driving that one too. So over the corkscrew, you still can't see anything over that corkscrew, so it makes it very difficult. But um, yeah, that was a uh, nice, fairly clean race for myself anyway. Uh, <laughs> But um, yeah, so I hope you all uh, enjoyed that. Please give me a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for me, hit the notification bell, and uh, yeah, enjoy, and we'll catch us all in the next race. See ya.